Solving is very unique because you have Denmark within America and you can really be Danish here as much as you want to, the more the better. And uh, Denmark has a lot to offer. So what we have done at the Copenhagen House, we have decided to be respectful to the traditional solving on the outside, which was created in the 1950s, and instead create contemporary Denmark on the inside. So far, the Americans and the tourists in America have perceived it uh, as very, being very welcomed and uh, definitely bought Danish design. I actually I came here as an immigrant, but I was only supposed to stay here for maybe a year and a half or uh, two years. But then I made my love of my life and uh, we got married and uh, we were looking for a business. And, in, uh, and then in, in 1970, well, my father who had a bakery in Denmark, in the Aeroskubing in Denmark, he decided that uh, if you get the bakery going over there, then I will come and help you. And we will close our bakery down in Aeroskubing. So that's what they did. In 1972, they came over here and, and, and helped us out and had us uh, helped with the kids and got us going with this beautiful business we have here. But today, Solvang has become such a popular place because we we have understood how to do marketing this town. It's a, it's, it's a fantastic place to do business, that's for sure. It, it's important to preserve Solvang because it, it is a Danish town. And it is a, a town that, uh, that looks very different than any other towns. Back in 1980, when the United States was in a recession, I moved back to Solvang, and uh, Arnie Hansen, who started the Solvang restaurant, and he started serving Abel Skeever every day. So I've had the restaurant now 33 years, and the Abel Skeever has just seemed to be something that, when people come to Solvang, they want Danish, they want pastries, they want smorbrot, they want smorgasbord. And so I have carried on from what Arnie had with the Abel Skeever, and now it's just become one of the most famous dishes of my restaurant. I work with the Danish Embassy and have the privilege of working with Danish cultural representatives from around the United States as a member of the Cultural Frontrunners, a group that's facilitated by the Embassy. We've had the Danish Boys Choir, we've had the National Performance Team, the gymnasts here in Solvang, of course the Ambassador, uh, numerous visits, and uh, then for the Solvang Centennial I had the honor of um, being escort and planning for the visit with the Prince Consort. As executive director here at Elverhoy, I consider it very important to share the town's cultural beginnings, the town's history. It helps people to understand and appreciate what the town is and why Solvang is the way it is. So I see a future and I see Danes in that future. <laughs>